work with the FBA Foundation. And I've got some exciting news for you. December 15th at 7 p.m. at JC Stadium, we're going to have a big Christian concert. Performing live will be Finding Favor, Brandon Holt Music, and our own local Forever in Majesty. Also, special guests, Preacher Kendall Shaw, Preacher Stanley Carter, and Preacher Justin Mitchell. It's going to be a Christmas together this December 15th, JC Stadium at 7 p.m. Let's go bigger than big for Jesus. Bring your friends, bring your neighbor, bring a stranger. We're going to have hot chocolate, coffee, plenty of blessings as we celebrate the true meaning of Christmas. And remember, admission is free. See you at the field. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news. In the news, Wayne County Sheriff John Carter reporting a serious single vehicle accident which occurred on December 10th around 8.17 p.m. Accident under investigation by the Georgia State Patrol. What happened on the Gardai Road near Manningtown Road in Jessup. According to Deputy Sergeant Clint Hendricks, the driver of the vehicle, a 2006 Chevy Silverado, is 19-year-old Richard Lane Yarborough of Jessup. He was traveling north on Manningtown Road when he lost control of the vehicle, crossed Gardai Road, and came to rest in the field. He was ejected from the vehicle, had to be airlifted to the Savannah Hospital by AeroVac. No other details have been released this time, given the accident occurred Sunday evening around 8.17 p.m. Today at Coastal Pines Technical College, Chamber of Commerce conducting their quarterly membership luncheon. The topic this Tuesday is the state of agriculture. Today's guest speaker, Dr. Kent Wolf, Director of Agribusiness and Economic Development at the University of Georgia. This quarterly membership luncheon presented by Rainer Advanced Materials, sponsored by Country Financial and Sean O'Quinn. Buffet lunch begins today at 11.30. The program gets underway at 12 noon. Admission, $25 for chamber members, $35 for non-members. Everyone's invited to attend and taking place today at Coastal Pines Technical College. Once again, the buffet lunch begins at 11.30 with the program beginning at 12 noon. The Wayne County Board of Education has their monthly board meeting today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. On the agenda under resolutions and recognitions, Georgia Power New Teacher Assistance Grant will be Announced, Georgia Power Representative Mr. Alan Volske will present a grant to a first-year teacher. This is the 14th year Georgia Power is giving grants for classroom supplies, materials, and equipment to the new teachers. This program is one of Georgia's powers. Many ways of showing the new teachers that their contributions are appreciated and that they hope the educator will remain committed to the profession. Also on the agenda is a GSBA RMS Safety Grant and Radish Award. The Georgia School Board Association Risk Management Services is pleased to announce the 2017 safety grant recipients. Dr. Brinston and Dr. Trapnell will recognize the recipients for the safety grant as well as the Radish Award at the meeting today. Also, the 2017 SSAS Greatest Gain Award, Odom Elementary, will be recognized as a recipient of that award today at the meeting. Under items of business, board meeting dates for fiscal year 18, Dr. Brinston will present the proposed meeting dates for the year. Also, school calendar will be presented for approval. Under facilities, the board's going to discuss the renaming of a current facility. Under financial management, the budget for fiscal year 19. Also, the October financial statement. There is an executive session on the agenda. Personnel, items with school board members, items with the superintendent of schools, all takes place today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. WIFL film will be on hand. I have a full report for you tomorrow here on the local news. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit Altamaha.org. Equal housing lender, federally insured by NCUA. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. 
That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Looking for some good, wholesome fun? Come join Your Turn Gaming at 125 Sunset Boulevard in the old Mr. J's building next to the Flash Foods for cash payout bingo with a $500 jackpot on Tuesdays starting at 645 till 10 p.m. Doors will open at 615. Don't forget to visit Your Turn Gaming for all your gaming needs as well. We offer a variety of games including Magic the Gathering, Force of Will, Vintage Video Games, Board Games, and more. For questions, call April at Your Turn Gaming at 559-2460. That's 559 559- 2460. Hope to see you there. Coastal Pines Technical College hosting the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce's next coffee cart exchange. going to take place this Thursday morning from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Coastal Pines will have a yogurt bar and pastry set up, and the Chamber will be awarding door prizes. The event is sponsored by Neesmith Chevrolet. It's free for Chamber members. Again, that's this Thursday from 8.30 to 9.30 at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets are now on sale for the Chamber of Commerce's annual Eggs and Issues Legislative Forum. With the date set for Friday, January 5th at Coastal Pines Technical College. The event will begin at 7.30, run up until 9 a.m. All three state representatives will be in attendance. Chad Nimmer, Bill Workhouser, Blake Tillery, all on the agenda. All will be in on hand for their take on what to expect in the upcoming legislative session, which will be a very political year with the governor's race upcoming this November. Tickets are available for $25 for an early bird entry after January 3rd. Tickets will be $35. It'll be $35 at the door of the day of the event. Once again, the date, Friday, January 5th from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. at Coastal Pines Technical College, the Chamber's Annual Eggs and Issues Legislative Forum. Big event taking place Monday in the city of Odom at Odom Church of God Gymnasium. It's Sing Around the Tree, featuring Monday Music and Missions Choir. Again, Odom's got talent. Open microphone taking place that day as well. If you'd like to sign up for open mic, so you'll be introduced, call 404. 404- 402, I'm sorry, call 402-4333. Santa photos, bring the kids, homemade goodies and delicacies, hot chocolate, cold drinks, all sponsored by the Odom Garden Club. Again, it's Odom, sing around the tree and open microphone night again, Monday, December 18th, 630 at the Odom Church of God Gymnasium. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Communication is the key when it comes to business, especially your financial business. That's why Altamaha Federal Credit Union makes communication a priority, making banking easier for you. AFCU has money to lend, and it's easy to apply online or with a quick phone call. Your local credit union with open lines of communication. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Jessup, Scriven, and Ludowisi. Visit Altamaha.org. Equal housing lender federally insured by NCUA. The Okefenokee Swamp Park invites you to experience a Christmas tradition. Hop aboard our Christmas train and be dazzled by thousands of lights. Our Christmas tradition is perfect for family and out-of-town guests to experience a rare night adventure into the Okefenokee Swamp Park. Come enjoy an evening you'll never forget every Friday through Sunday night with us. The Okefenokee Swamp Park Light Show and Train Tours. Now open through Christmas in Waycross, Georgia. Visit our website for more information. 
Are you wanting a fresh look in your kitchen, but afraid of the time and money it will take to get the look you've always dreamed of? Do you find yourself watching home remodeling shows and wanting that new look in your home as well? Well, at Kitchen Tune-Up, let us remodel your expectations. At Kitchen Tune-Up, we can give you a fresh, updated look in your kitchen in less than three days. We can reface or redoor your existing cabinets, or let us redesign your kitchen with all new cabinets and countertops. Kitchen Tune-Up is located inside your Sears hometown store in Jessup, servicing all of southeast Georgia. Visit us at kitchentuneup.com or call us today for a free estimate at 912-424-8907. Enjoy the spirit of giving by getting the cash you need from First Franklin Financial. See your friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street. Give us a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. Make this holiday season something to sing about. Merry Christmas from all of us at First Franklin Financial. All laws subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, MNLSR number 141654, Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656, licensed by the Mississippi Department of Banking and Consumer Finance. This is Woody Folsom saying thanks to everyone who helped make this our best year ever. We really appreciate your friendship and business. Better get to Baxi and check out over 2,000 new and used vehicles. Merry Christmas, y'all, and thanks again for being so good to us. It's the 21st anniversary of Woody Folsom Automotive, and we're giving away a new Chevy Crew Cab Colorado. Some restrictions, but not many. We'll give this truck away by drawing at 5 o'clock Saturday, December 30th. Better get to Baxi and get details. Thank you for talking to us for 21 great years. Final notes of news, free class on childbirth being offered at Waymore Hospital December 30 from 9 to 1 in the hospital cafeteria conference room. Class is ideal for those expectant mothers 25 weeks pregnant or later by the class date. Those interested in registering may do so by calling 912-530-3118. Again, the number 912-530-3118. Topics of the class will include the normal process of pregnancy, labor and delivery with an emphasis on conscious prepared childbirth, Stress is placed on a medically safe delivery in the hospital under the direction of a doctor. Additional topics covered are infant care and infant feeding. Those attending are encouraged to invite a support person to the class. Once again, the class being offered from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on December 30th in the hospital cafeteria conference room. Again, the number to call if interested, 912-530-3118. Insurance Safety Fire Commissioner Ralph Hudgens urging Georgians to keep safety in mind when decorating their homes for the holidays. They state decorations such as lights and candles can make the holiday season more enjoyable, but they can also become fire hazards if not used with caution. Commissioner Hudgens says celebrations can quickly turn into tragedies if you're not careful. Where the National Fire Protection Agency, U.S. Fire Department responds to an average of more than 200 home fires started by Christmas trees per year. These fires cause an average of six deaths and 16 injuries annually. Leading cause of death, Christmas tree fires in the United States and electrical distribution or lighting equipment. Again, Commissioner Hudgens offers the following tips for ensuring a safe holiday. On Christmas trees, he says check the tree for fresh, freshness. A good test, they state, is hold the branch about six inches from the tip and pull your hand toward the tip, allowing the branch to slip through your fingers. If the Christmas tree is fresh, very few green needles will come off. Also, lift the tree off the ground and tap the stump on the ground. Again, very few needles should fall off. Place the tree in the stand designed not to tip over and keep plenty of water in the stand and do not place the tree near a fireplace, television, or other heated sources. As far as holiday lights, buy lights labeled by a testing laboratory. Always checks for frayed or damaged cords. For outside decorations, use only outdoor lights. Never use indoor lights outside. And always unplug all decorative lights before leaving home or going to bed. Don't overload electrical outlets. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes join in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. <laughs> 